a melee on dying in a short range morph, and you would be running that into Wisp, who's long range, Leshrac, who's long range, and Shadow Demon, who's long range. Mm -hmm. and, like, the harassment war is easily going to be... Taking a lot of damage here. Maladic wow. comes through. They've got a lot of damage. He should die to the DOTs, oh, the but no, the Wisp saves him at least for now. Twice. Two Twice. DOTs still on him. It's not Twice. enough. First blood's drawn. MMY picks it up on the Witch Doctor. It's not bad. Just sometimes it's just enough to close that gap for the rest of your teammates. Ice, ice, ice. He'll find some initiation onto Xiao Wei, throwing out that sticky goo. Maybe in the front lines will blink back. The cast not going to find any bounces. Maledict comes out, but Xiao Wei just gets dropped as he gets hit by the EMP. Now you're dead. Great Lord. disruption. Beautifully done. That resets the fight. Witch Doctor still doing damage on the backside, but his team is just getting cleaned up. Ice, ice, ice is tanking it. It's a three for nil to get things started. Ice, ice, ice will TP out, and how will dive onto Yao. Great. Splitter. A lot less gold going to Vici Gaming, which means they don't have a gold advantage. That'll snowball the end and then Dyer's also a hero kill the wisp was the attack. most dangerous one He's like the piece Dyer's of the puzzle you kill the wisp if he's the one out of position It's just they're trying good. to bait this onto Silar. Orchid is completed onto super They'll go in he does get off the morph before the orchid connects, but it just doesn't matter They've got too much damage and he can't morph fast enough TP is coming in ice 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 may be in some trouble here another defensive disruption to try and set it up for Fenrir Yao on his way in trying to surround but can't quite do it the wild axes fly through Fenrir will fall It's a one-for-one one. roar onto ice 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 now MMY joining the party death ward as the cask bounces back and forth, it gets interrupted, but Super falls. Lesh comes in for the cleanup. Looks like this may get leveled out as Ice Ice wow. Ice gets blown up. A two for three trade. LGD finding the advantage. That that's not over yet. Even with the Aegis. I, f I feel like they could have won that, honestly. Aegis if they just dying. If they just put the tombstone on a high ground or something like that, they never would have killed the tomb and it would have been hard to find the All right, we'll, we'll hold that thought about the Aegis, though, as the fight will break out in the mid disruption to get it started. Ice 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 in the front lines. They get the silence onto Silar. Orchid is there. Do they have the damage? Certainly so. No, the waveform barely keeps him alive. It's FY that goes down first from the Sonic Wave, but they will have to trade their Beastmaster. Maybe in very deep. Won't be able to make it back out. It's a one for two now with LGD on the back foot. Xiao Wei with his back turn, trying to turn tail and run. It won't happen. Disruption to interrupt the Witch Doctor. How getting low, but MMY will fall first. It ends as a two for four trade. They cut through the Aegis as well as the second life. Oh, uh, no, Vici wanted to get aggressive here. They've got five heroes just charging up the mid lane. Ice 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 picks up a plate mail right before this fight starts, so now he's got a huge bump in his armor. They force out the glyph right away. EMP Tornado on the Undying. That'll be the end of Xiao Wei's mana. He gets Orchided and Soulburn will finish him off, or at least Ice 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 thinks it will. They get the kill. And now this tier three will be under siege. Oh, okay, he does have level 4 on adaptive Dyer's at least, but it does very little damage, and they're just going to take the racks, I think. I mean, this is a very easy siege here for Vici. It's yeah. a 4 on 5, no buyback for Xiao Wei. He didn't get a tombstone down. Here we go. Maybe hops in. BKB's popped. Nice Sonic Wave. Connects on at least two, but there's just no follow-up. Now Yao gets stunned up. He'll definitely fall. He's in the grave. It's now a 5v3 and easy siege for Vici. They can just sit back, reset a little bit. Okay, damage from his huh. from his blasting, but it was a great try from Dying LGD. The the initiation was a bit unpredictable. The timing they went, I felt mm -hmm. it was like, oh, they're gonna let it go, and then they jumped in. So certainly integral to making this happen. Cask bouncing around, but goes into the creeps. Unfortunate for LGD. How getting a little bit lucky there. And they'll just continue to slow siege. Roar onto Ice Ice Ice, but his back is turned. Gets four stabbed, then defensively disrupted. Maybe hops out. Ultimate on three. A lot of damage, but BKBs get popped, and he just gets turned around on. No buyback available for the Queen of Pain. Vici go right back to the high ground. A five on four. Tornado does clip Silar. He'll take the Orchid, but MMY with a nice death ward. Was it enough to bring down Ice Ice Ice? No! The disruption again! Morphling's already fallen. It's a disaster for the dire side. How? Oh going God. in deep with a double kill. It's just MMY, and that's enough for a GG call. It's Vici Gaming taking game one of this best of three series. Man, they played that team fight so well. Their positioning was great. Woo. Like, Ice SA's turned his back at the perfect time. If his face would have been forward, they could have won that fight, but mm -hmm. turned it just in time. Quap goes on the back line, didn't have enough to burst anybody down. They all pop BKBs, and then the fight is over. Yeah. You know, how just chases everybody down, turning Pulse Nova on, watching him burn. So much reset there. He got force stabbed, then instantly disrupted. Yeah.